Hey guys, so um, I'm back from our trip to South Carolina and I'm just on my way actually to my friend's house um, because we need to catch up and all of that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do this as like an intro to my travel vlog because um, a couple things have changed and I just didn't want anybody to be confused when they watched the video. So the video you guys will see after this sort of intro um, is again from our trip when we had the mindset of getting right into a house. But on our long ride home, we did it over two days. We just had a lot of time to think and talk everything over. And we just realized it doesn't make sense to get right into a house, which is um, a more permanent thing than just renting. Because as much as we don't want to rent, because we've been, you know, we've owned for the past six years, so the thought of renting is sort of annoying to us, it really is the best choice for us because you know, we don't know the area very well. I mean, you can't really see everything in just a few days. And um, the main thing is we don't know where my husband will be working yet in what area. And obviously we want him to not have that long of a commute. So we're going to rent for a few months. We already have a place picked out. Um, and we're going to do a short-term lease with the option to go month to month after the short term is up. And hopefully by the time the lease is up, we will know um, where exactly we want to, you know, put down roots and sort of be, you know, more permanent. So I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. It's nothing exciting. But again, um, all the, you know, the houses that I point out in the video and everything, um, just disregard those because, again, we decided we're going to rent. And I just want to say a special thank you to my friend Ashley and her husband who let us stay with them, which was so helpful because not only did it save money, you know, on a hotel, but it was just, it was fun. You know, this is my one of my childhood friends. So we were able to just catch up and Grady had a great time playing with, you know, her kids. So if you're watching this, thank you again for letting us stay with you. It was so much fun and we are looking forward to living close to you guys so we can spend more time together. Otherwise, guys, everybody else, just I hope you enjoy the video and that you all have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Hey, guys, it is lightly raining here in South Carolina. It's about 60 degrees. And it's still morning, so it's awesome. We're just leaving my friend's neighborhood. These are what some of the houses look like, just to give you an idea. And we are going to check out a potential um, area that we want to be in. And I will show you guys what that looks like. Hey guys, so we're going to the neighborhood, um, the development of the homes we like, and um, it's all new construction, and I'll show you guys the house that we're interested in, which is right here. It's new construction, it just got built. So there's just a dead end sort of down there they're not going to build, and then it's all just new construction houses. So we're just kind of taking a drive around and checking it all out. And there's like a wooded area back here where they're not going to build anything else. But yeah, these are all, as you can see, like some of them are even being built. That's an awesome lot. Yeah. This guy has a great lot because they're not building anything back there. Yeah, and this lot right here. Yeah, that's a good lot. Just a slab. Yeah, and this is um, another lot here. That's like a corner lot because they're not building back there. So... This coming up here on the right is the house that um, I originally was interested in, but um, it's not even done being built, and it's a long, it's a long way to go, and it's too big, and all of that. So yeah, we're just checking out the new neighborhood of where we want to relocate to. Yeah. So we finally arrived in Maryland, which is the halfway point between South Carolina and New York. So. We're staying at a hotel right there, which is really close to this mall. So we are walking to dinner. We just checked in, and Grady is so excited to be walking because we've been in the car for, like, I think seven or eight hours. So, feels so good to be walking, and the temperature is perfect here. So we just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know we made it safely to Maryland. Say hi, Papa. Grady is playing with a bag, like it's the most interesting thing in the world. We're at our hotel, guys, and 
I just have, um, I just organized, um, all my diaper bags, um, just all the things we brought, kind of consolidated things. I got these sandals, we went to the local mall that we walked to, and these were 10 bucks, they look super cute on, they're like a moccasin kind of look with these little studs, and they're like a camel color, and they look really cute, and they're super comfortable, and they're like really lightweight, they're not heavy on my feet at all, so that's all I found there, and again, we're just organizing and unwinding, we have two beds in here, Ray just took a bath, and... That's about it. We are just unwinding for the night and getting some sleep because we are hitting the road tomorrow morning after breakfast. So we found out the hotel has free breakfast. So I have some nice hot oatmeal still steaming with some nuts and raisins and coconut and brown sugar. Looking good. I have some scrambled eggs with hot sauce. I have a nice pear, some sausage, some lemon poppy seed bread, and a nice hot coffee. Daddy's eating and Grady's not really eating, but I just like that. Um, I think it's great when restaurants have, like, a hot free breakfast because I just feel like it, you know, makes you feel like you're home still, and it's obviously really convenient. So we are going to dig in and then hit the road. We have all of our bags ready to go, and we have about six hours, so we'll check in with you guys later.